Hello and this is a review for the Motorola Atrix. This is the 4G phone that's in AT&T's lineup. Uh, in case you are living under a rock, uh, this will be new information for you. It's a dual core 1 gigahertz uh, processor, uh, 16 gigs of onboard memory and uh, with a micro SD card you can up it uh, by an additional 32 gigabytes. Uh, it's got a 4 inch uh, quarter HD a screen that means it's 960 by 540. It's running Android 2.2 Froyo. Uh, it's got the Wi Fi A, B, G, and N. Uh, and uh, also, instead of just having the 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, frequency, it also runs on 5 gigahertz on the Wi Fi. It's got a 5 mega, uh, megapixel camera with an LED flash has a video capture rate in 720p and uses that uh, flash as an LED light uh, for video capture. It's got a front facing camera and a huge uh, 1930 uh, uh, milliamp hour lithium ion battery. So first I want to talk about uh, just the design of the phone itself. Um, so as you can see uh, on the sides of it You've got your um, USB uh, standard port, which I like. It's got an HDMI out. Uh, on the bottom, there's nothing there. On the right-hand side, there's your, your toggle for your, your uh, volumes or your uh, camera zoom. Uh, on the top, uh, you have your, um, uh, your three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jack. And uh, here's the power button and the finger uh, print swipe. Uh, also, here's the camera and the flash. Here's the speakerphone uh, 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 speaker. And uh, the front, you have your front facing camera, uh, your um, speaker for your earpiece, and also you have a microphone uh, input here. So, if we go ahead and we can turn it on by pushing the button on the back and uh, swiping our finger and of course that was too slow try it again there it goes so it uh, it runs pretty pretty quickly I'm really surprised uh, I shouldn't be since it's got a dual core processor but uh, anyway let me get to uh, the rest of this this uh, opens up fairly easy if I just put my fingers under here I can kind of pop open the back and that will reveal uh, the battery, which I can take out. Uh, the SIM card, which is uh, locked in by the battery, which uh, is nice. It can't uh, be removed accidentally. And uh, there's your, your uh, micro SD card. And it's got a little flap here that keeps it uh, locked into place. So again, you just kind of slip that on and snap it in place. You have to snap in the sides and uh, you're good to go. Uh, so now let's uh, let's talk about a few other things here. Um, I'm going to show you a, a little bit of the Wi-Fi, something that uh, um, I'm not sure I understand, but uh, I thought I'd tell you about it anyway. Uh, if we go to the Wi-Fi section, make sure this is correct here. Wi-Fi settings. So. Right now I'm connected to a, a 2.4 gigahertz um, a router and my router is a dual router so I've got a 2.4 and a 5 on, uh, in, uh, um, on in service. So right now I'm connected to 2.4. So if we look at that you can see that uh, my link speed is uh, 36 megabits per second and uh, my signal strength is fair. So if I go ahead and connect to my 5 give it a chance to uh, to connect here it's actually a lower link speed 19 megabits per second and it's still fair which I am really was surprised I was thinking it was going to be a little bit higher because uh, of the 5 gigahertz um, so in this particular phone the way it's set up now just right out of the box it looks like the 2.4 gigahertz is actually uh, better for home use. Uh, that was a little surprising. 
Uh, also some surprising uh, information is I teamed this up with my old iPhone. So here is, this is a 3G. Uh, it's not a 3GS, just a, a standard 3G. And these phones are, are, I mean, really close to being the same, the same size. Uh, uh, this one, of course, only has a 2.4 um, gigahertz on the Wi-Fi. Uh, it's also uh, limited to 3G. I'm, I'm pretty sure this isn't, uh, in my neighborhood, this isn't running at, at 4G, and I'll show you the stats. Uh, what I did is I, is I ran some speed tests between um, the Atrix and my old iPhone with the same SIM card in the same location, same day, obviously not exactly the same time since I was sharing the SIM cards. And uh, this is what I found. I found that uh, if I went to the a wireless, uh, so Wi-Fi, my down speeds, uh, you can see that uh, the iPhone was uh, was steady at around five to six megabits per second, but Atrix was all over the place. It was sometimes faster, but sometimes slower. That was a little bit surprising how it's all all over the map. Um, now, when I compared that my wireless down to my laptop. I was really surprised that my laptop was, well actually I wasn't surprised, my laptop is a lot faster. Not in all cases, but I'm, I'm surprised that uh, the phone isn't achieving the same speeds as my laptop. I kind of feel like uh, uh, the phone is uh, being limited um, by its down speeds over Wi-Fi. That, uh, uh, that's a little upsetting. Now if I look at 3G down. So here's, here's my uh, 3G between iPhone and Atrix. And I tell you what, not too, uh, not too happy about this. I was expecting the Atrix to be a little bit faster. But uh, it's, I mean, it's faster, but it's clearly not like, you know, life altering faster. Uh, it's just barely faster. Uh, then let's look at 3G up. So my up speeds, almost identical. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, iPhone seemed to be a little bit faster uh, on my ninth try, but uh, um, it's uh, not looking so good. And if I look at my wireless up, well, that's pretty much the same across the board. Actually, the Atrix seemed to do better than, uh, than anything, than my laptop or uh, the iPhone. Uh, I'm not sure why this was reading like this. Now I pay for uh, the faster service, the Roadrunner Turbo, so my uh, fast speed, uh, my, uh, my up speed is uh, up limited to about 700 uh, kilobits per second, and that's basically what we're seeing here. So uh, that was just a little surprising. Anyway, uh, back to the, to the phones. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this phone. I'm gonna show you uh, some more uh, about some docks. Uh, I do have the, the standard dock uh, for this. I also have the lap dock. And, uh, and I'll also show you um, what it'll look like on the TV. Um, so let's, let's take a look at some of this other stuff. So if I turn this on, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, come back here to the to the front camera now this camera is uh, is actually pretty neat I've got all kinds of uh, different effects and, and scenes and stuff as you can see I've got auto and portrait uh, landscape sports night and uh, macro and macro um, you know pretty uh, pretty good so if I put the uh, use the iPhone here as a subject and try to take a picture of it, I mean that's that's not that bad. I was really pretty close to that, and uh, seemed to show up all the all the scratches and dust and everything. So that's that's pretty good. Um, anyway, from the camera. Uh, you can also uh, switch to the video camera or the front camera. There's the there's the front, right? 
my whole tripod set up. We'll go back to the shooting down the back camera. Uh, we can switch to the video camera and uh, so at this point well, that's a little bit too close but I'll, I'll show you some video here uh, in a little bit. So I'm going to pause here and I'll set up some, uh, some the laptop dock and a video uh, to show on the TV.